Hey, what's up? It's Reed with Smart Home Solver, and today we're going to be talking about the DBot 901. It's a smart robot vacuum that can map out your house. It works with Google Assistant and Alexa, and it has some other cool features that we're going to show you. So let's see what comes with the DBot 901. And just like the N79, it's packed in a box that's in another box and in another box, a lot of boxes. It comes with two extra side brushes, a piece that can replace the brush roll, and more on that in a bit, a charger, extra filters, and a little tool that can clean the robot vacuum. And it doesn't come with a remote like the N79. You'll be controlling everything from your smartphone or your tablet. We are gonna be briefly comparing it with the N79 because we've been using it since last year when we bought it. And Ecovacs did send us the 901 for an unbiased review. And setup was pretty straightforward. You download the Ecovax app and you select the 901 or the 900. The 900 is just the white version. And you connect it to your Wi-Fi. And once it's connected, you won't be able to do much in the app until it's fully mapped. So there's a few things you can do while you're waiting for your DBot to charge. You can turn on continuous cleaning. And what that does is when your DBot cleans your house and it, if it doesn't finish cleaning the whole thing on one charge, it'll automatically charge itself. And when it's done charging, it'll finish cleaning your house. There's also do not disturb. And what this will do is not run the vacuum at certain times. And so say you do have continuous cleaning turned on, you don't want it to recharge and start cleaning again, maybe in the middle of the night. You can schedule your DBot to run at a certain time every day or certain days of the week. You can also set it up with Alexa and Google Assistant. With Alexa, there's three commands that you can do. Ask DBot to start cleaning. Okay, okay, now your DBot is cleaning. You can start, stop, or have it recharge. And with Google Assistant, you can give those commands as well, and you can ask it if it's charging or not. Is the vacuum charging? The DBot is docked. And one thing to note, the smart assistants won't enable the DBot to clean a specific room or an area. You can just have it start or stop. So once the DBot is done charging, you can have it map out your floor. You can only have it do one floor. So if you have a two-story house, it's only gonna be able to do one level. And once it's going, it's pretty cool to watch. Like the little laser is spinning around and quickly getting a readout of the floor plan. And it's fun to watch it go around your house. And as it goes into a new room, it just starts appearing. Don't touch the DBA as it's mapping everything out, even to make it go recharge. Because if you do have it go recharge, it's gonna start back over. And once it's done mapping, it will go and kind of sit right in front of the charger for a few minutes, just let it do its thing. It's like saving it or something. And then it will say complete. We'll go back on the charger and then you'll have all the functions in the app. So once it's done mapping, there's four different modes. There's auto, which will just clean your whole house and it will make sure that, you know, it uses the map and everything. It'll clean everything. There's area. And what that will do is you can select a room. It's kind of predefines rooms after it's done mapping, and you can select one or multiple rooms for it to clean. There's also custom, which you can draw a little box. So say you spill something and you want it to clean that specific area, you can draw a box on that. And one thing to know is you can't draw a custom box outside of the mapped area. Don't pick up the DBot and put it in that spot where it's not mapped. It will erase the map which was super frustrating for us. The way to clean it is click auto and then it will rescan and it will see, oh, I can go right there and clean. And then you can select that going forward. So it is a little bit more tedious than say the N79 because you can just drive the N79 over and do a spot clean. But once you have everything mapped out in the DBot 901, it's not too bad to select an area and just have it clean that. And the last mode is recharging. So no matter where the DBot 901 is, it's gonna take the best route back to the charging dock because it uses the map of your house. It was super fast and it just got right back to the charger. You can also have the DBot not clean certain areas of your house. So you can go into the map management and you can draw little 
virtual walls or little squares of areas that you don't want it to clean. And this is nice that you don't want it to go in a certain room or an area that's gonna be a lot of cables on the ground. In the settings, you can also have it on standard or max power. On max power, of course, it's gonna be a little more powerful and it's gonna drain the battery a little faster. There's also a Find My D-Bot setting and that will just make the D-Bot speak out loud and tell you where it is in case it's lost or something. I am here. And you can also turn off the voice on it. The voice is a little creepy. I am starting the clean. I am relocating. And like I mentioned earlier, there's a little piece that you can replace the brush roll with that comes with it. And that makes it so that there's no hair or pet hairs that get stuck in the brush roll. It just sucks everything up. But it doesn't really work well on carpet with this feature. You kind of need the brush roll for the carpet. And I found that the brush roll just worked a little bit better at sucking everything up. And the D-Bot with the brush roll, it works really well on the carpet. And it was a lot more powerful than the N79 on our shag carpet. Uh, the N79 was able to go on it, but it kind of struggled on it where the 901 just did really well. It had no issues at all. And to clean the dustbin, you just pop up the top and then you just pull out the dustbin with a little handle. It's not the biggest dustbin. I had to empty this every single time it ran, which I guess is a good thing. It's sucking up a lot of stuff, but just be aware that you're probably gonna have to empty it every single time it runs. Overall, the D-Bot 901 is a pretty good vacuum. Besides its little annoyances with the mapping, like it forgetting the map and taking a while to map everything, it's a quiet vacuum and it's not too expensive. It's about three to four hundred dollars and that's good compared to other robot vacuums that have similar features. We appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more smart home videos. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and we'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, use the D-Bot's Find Me feature to play hide and go seek with your kid.